Hello friends, this is Cindy. Welcome to Hallelay Homestead. And uh, it's been a long time since I've made any videos, so I'm a little camera shy at the moment. And I'm gonna have to go away from the geese, they're just too noisy. Um, I just wanted to give an update because I haven't done any videos in so long. I just wanted to give kind of a life update. We're at a different house. If you can't tell, the cattle are not ours. We're renting this house, but I'll get to that in a little bit. <clears throat> so, uh, let's see. The, the whole... Mm, trying to keep my political thoughts to myself. The, uh, you know, the worldwide events over the last few years have been pretty stressful and I have not dealt well with stress. I feel like overall I'm fairly healthy, but I just, my body just doesn't handle stress very well. So over the last five or six years, I've lost almost 50 pounds twice. <laughs> Regained it over time because of the stress, cortisol, whatever, you know. And I'm, I'm just going to get personal with you here. Um, I'm about to turn 49 in September and was just in the last, uh, just a few years ago, diagnosed with diabetes. And now I'm postmenopausal. And it's just like, considering those things, I feel like I'm in pretty good shape. Well, shape is not a good word. I'm out of shape. <laughs> but, um, like, my overall health, I'm managing it well. I'm not on any medication. Control everything through diet. But um, I feel good, which can be bad. But I just, uh, there's just, I, I can't lose the weight that I need to lose. You know, it's just been really difficult. Anyway, but enough about me. Um, my husband, still working at Hobby Lobby. He's been there for 27 years. I think that's right. Since 1998. Yeah, no, 1996. We met in 98. He's been there since 1996. So I believe that's 27 years. And uh, I'm just kind of all over the place here. Let me regather my thoughts and I'll be right back. Hello again. So it's been um, almost three months since I made that first clip. Almost three months. And as you can tell, I am in a different place now. So, yeah, I had to rewatch that to remember. I, I didn't say very much. I was talking about my health and then uh, Miles, my husband, um, his health is fairly good and I think it's getting better. He's been working out, um, got a gym membership and he's not like buff or anything like that, but he's been having problems with his legs and like his calf muscles. So he's working on those. Like, I think it's neurological, but he's been working on that. Whoa! <laughs> the cats are going after the turkeys. So we have turkeys now. Um, so I'll give you the, the nutshell version and then I'll give you a quick tour. Might make the tour a separate video. Um, so for the last two years, you know what? I'm gonna let you watch the birds while I'm telling the story. So let's see if I can figure out how to turn this around. Yeah, yeah, it worked. My last, um, my last phone. I had to actually stop the video um, before I could. Yeah, I couldn't turn it around while I was filming. Anyway, so there's our pond. So for the last two years, I have been my mom's caregiver. Um, and it started, oh my goodness, I am not going to go into all the details, but let's just say her stepdaughters, my stepsisters, were not nice people. And they did not take care of her. I'm not going to, I'm not going to voice my full opinion on here because it may come back to bite me, whether it's accurate or not. But they're just not nice people. 
They did not treat her well. They did not take care of her. As I said, they were going to. Um, and as a result, she almost died. It's been over two years since she's been walking. She's 81 now, almost 82. And it's been almost, almost two years, or no, over two years. It's September 8th of 2021 when she took her last steps. Now, she has since then taken steps, but she's not technically walking, walking. She has taken steps, though. Um... But on September 8th, she went into the hospital. She was there for a few days, then transferred to a swing bed hospital. I'll just go ahead and walk around. Um, and then she was there until... It was the Monday right before Thanksgiving of 21. And... <laughs> bon Bon. This is Bonnie. Monday right before Thanksgiving 21, she went to a nursing home because they deemed her un, un, what is the word? They, she wasn't going to get better is what they, I can't, I think they made up a word. I don't know, but that's what they determined. And so this is my mom's wheelchair van. Um, they didn't think she'd ever walk again or even probably stand again. I'm going to go down where all the action is. There's a bunch of geese and turkeys down here, so let's go find them. Um, so, she was in the nursing home only because she had no other place to go. She was kicked out of the marital home. Not by her husband. Um, it, they went through the courts. Got her kicked out and was against their will. He had dementia, so he had, they had total control over him. And I'll just leave it at that. Um, and we can prove that he had dementia before any of the, of all this stuff started. So, um, I lived in the marital home with the two of them for a little bit. And then, <laughs> uh, then she got kicked out, didn't have any other place to go, went to the hospital, then went to the nursing home. And then while she was in the nursing home, we had to have her out by a certain date. Actually, I think it was before she went to the nursing home. Uh, and then, I'm sorry if I'm boring you. I'm trying to remember everything. Uh, so then, fast forward a little bit. Uh, we were going to fix up our house. It was a double wide trailer. We were going to fix it up to be handicap accessible so that she could come and live with us. So there would be eight people. Bonnie, are you being nice? <laughs> you like them, don't you? Yes, I just want a bite of a turkey. <laughs> um, so we quickly decided that that was going to cost too much money and take too much time to to do that so we ended up getting a rental home and the first one was in the city it was a federal program so it's income-based federal housing and I can't see up here very well any eggs ladies I don't see any eggs bunch of freeloaders huh um <laughs> bunch of freeloaders so we got the federal income based housing hey tiny <laughs> and we were there for about 10 months from February to November it was around 10 months and that entire time she was there she went straight from the nursing home to that house as soon as it opened up for us and that entire time she was there she was on hospice so um and i would say probably when she first moved there in february maybe march and april was probably the worst time like we really didn't think she was going to live everybody that knew her that had seen her and talked to her really believed that she wasn't going to live much longer it was two and a half years ago. 
Wait. No, that was a year and a half ago. That was a year and a half ago when she was at her worst. Um, the hospice nurse told me that it was probably weeks. We're probably weeks away. Um, she wasn't so bad that we had a short time like days, but she said probably weeks. Y'all are noisy. <laughs> oh my word. Sorry, I'll get away from your pond. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. I hope this is entertaining and not boring. Um, <laughs> oh my word. They're so loud. So, about halfway through that hospice stint, um, her husband, who we had no contact with, was also put on hospice. And he did not live very long, I think maybe three weeks or so. So we were close to the end of it for her because he died in November. They never told us that he died. They did not put her on the obituary and they were married almost nine years. And so we, we found out that he died in November of last year and then it was around the same time. I honestly don't remember which one was first. I think he died first and then mom no longer qualified for hospice. So she graduated from hospice. Shortly after that, December 9th, I believe, we moved to that other rental home that was at the beginning of this video. I liked it okay. The home itself had character. Um... I loved that there are, you know, most of our neighbors were cows. Um, we hardly ever saw anybody else. I, I really, I really liked it for what it was, but it was still too close to the Oklahoma City Metro. And, you know, there wasn't a ton of traffic there. It was just too close to the Metro and it was just a little more flat than I like. You know, it just wasn't my dream home. I'll just put it that way. So, it did bring us all together under the same roof, though, because while I was living with my mom and uh, the federal housing, um, my family was still living in our double-wide trailer, and they could come over and visit, but, you know, I felt like I wasn't raising my children. And so, I really missed them. And so, the rental house brought us all together under one roof. But we still had our house, the double wide trailer. We still had that. Um, I'll spare you all the court stuff. That's just been unnecessary and kind of a nightmare. And it's still not completely over yet. We got one more trial, I guess. Um, but my stepdad did die before the divorce that they, that they made him file was finalized. So my mom is a widow, not a divorcee. And uh, neither one of them wanted a divorce. So I was praying that that's the way it would work out. Because um, we knew that was the only way out of it. Uh, so we're all under one roof in the rent house, the one at the beginning of this video. We had that for about 10 months. Somewhere in there, we decided we don't want to run anymore. This is ridiculous. And we had 43 acres in eastern Oklahoma that we never could really get to because it's just far enough away that we can't get enough time or gas money to be going back and forth very much, you know? So we would camp out there every once in a while. We decided we're done renting. Let's just buy something that, um, you know, mom was paying for, uh, with social security, her social security check, she was paying, um, the rent and miles was having to add a little bit to that for all the bills and stuff because we were managing two households. So we just decided let's just buy something, um, for as long as she's still with us, she can go ahead and make the mortgage payments. It's going to be her house. It's our house, but, um, did you all know that 
Turkeys faces can change colors. They are nature's mood rings. <laughs> when they're all calm and relaxed, they're more pale and then they can get really red. See, they're both really red right now. <laughs> um, I don't know if the females do as much. Anyway, I get distracted. So, um, so we decided to buy something. So we came out to Eastern Oklahoma to see if there's something available that would that would work for us, that so that we could be closer to our property and get it built up. You know, that was our intent. So we come out here on our anniversary weekend, and it was just Miles and I, and we were just going to car camp on our property, which is what we did. So middle of the night. You know, there was lightning. <laughs> there was some lightning, and it was really humid. It was July, and uh, there were mosquitoes also. So we rolled the windows up. So about two o'clock in the morning, we woke up really hot. Like you know what? Let's just go take a dip in the creek. I'll have to put a little video of the creek in here too. It's awesome. The creek is like maybe a quarter of a mile from the end of our driveway. If that, it might not even be that much. Um, so we went down there, took a dip in the creek and I will, I will really sum this up. The keys somehow got locked in the car. It was God's will. That's the only explanation because it wasn't supposed to happen. It, ha it was a fob has one of those electronic chips. It wasn't supposed to get locked in the car. So, you know, from from like 2.30-ish till about, I don't know, 6 or 6.30, we're trying to pick the lock. He, he, he went to a neighbor's house that we hadn't met, um, got Wi-Fi access, had our older daughter um, call roadside assistance. We had no signal. Like, I could not, Bonnie, leave the chickens alone. No. <laughs> I just want a little taste. Now she's she's always good with the chickens. I don't know why she's doing that, but anyway. Um so we couldn't we were even trying to call 911 just to get like a sheriff out here or something to unlock our door for us. We had no reception whatsoever, couldn't even get 911. So um, and I thought it was supposed to like connect anywhere, you know, but apparently there's just not enough towers out here from anybody. And so, uh, sun came up, it was pouring down rain by this time and I was still there trying to pick the lock. I'm skipping a lot of details. We met these neighbors that lived here. We'd heard about them, but we had never met them yet soon as Miles met them, because he came by himself the first time, they told him that his house, uh, their house is for sale, but it's not listed yet. They're going to sell it, but it's not listed yet. And Miles was like, well, we're actually looking for something close to our property. So <clears throat> it just, it was all God. I'm telling you, there's like, there's no other explanation. It's like so obvious to us. Uh, so leaving out all the other details, because this story could take an hour. Um, that was on a s early, early Saturday morning when we met them. We had a contract signed by the house on Monday, which I believe was our anniversary. I think, I think that was on our anniversary. So <laughs> that contract did change once, I believe. Um, nothing major, but anyway, so we are here now. We sold our other house, the double wide. We sold it on October 2nd, moved here on October 4th or si signed the papers on October 4th. And what is today? Like the 20th, I think. Let's see if I can look at the date. The 19th. Today's the 19th. And um, we still have a couple more truckloads to bring. <laughs> After two U-Haul loads, like a 26-foot U-Haul, we got one from the 
house that we sold and the other from the rent house and we still have taken several trips out with carloads carloads truckloads and then we still have a couple more truckloads to go so my daughter is there now um cleaning with the boys and my older son he is about to turn 19 he's on his way back there now to help finish things up but oh my goodness it's just been so stressful very stressful time since I made that first video um, but it's not all a bad stress it's just like we're so busy and trying to tie up loose ends and everything um, but it'll be so much nicer only having one household even though <laughs> both of the houses that we had to clean out are bigger than this one this one's only about 1400 square feet two bedrooms one bathroom but they did install another toilet so that helps <laughs> but there's gonna be eight of us here actually i take that back there's gonna be seven here full time and miles is staying with his parents for now because he really wants to stay at hobby lobby and continue working there until this house is paid off and the goal is like six years so um i think we can do it <laughs> I think we can do that. It's just going to be a lot of work. <sighs> and he's going to be able to come on the weekends. At least every other weekend. He might come every weekend if he doesn't mind the driving. And if he's available and all that. So, so it'll be seven of us on a regular basis during the week. And eight on maybe most weekends. And... Yeah, I'm, I'm a little scatterbrained at the moment because there's a lot going on and I'm trying to remember what I'm saying. Hey, Jesse, if you open that up, you see that button that says test? You, you need to move away, though. It's going to hit you and it hurts. Yes, <laughs> it gives you 10 seconds. <laughs> Did you push it? <laughs> I better get away. <laughs> it's not working. They're waiting for it, too. It didn't go, though. Try it again. <laughs> Come try it one more time. You don't, have to, you don't have to run away. It gives you time. Hey, Jesse, it gives you time to get away. Just hold it down for like half a second. You see it counting down? Okay. <laughs> It was dispensing feed twice a day. Both of them were. Woo! <laughs> but for some reason, it's not doing that now. So I don't know if I have to re, uh, re program it or, or what the deal is. But it's a little bit breezy. I hope that's not getting in the camera. I mean, the uh, microphone. Yeah, I think that was out. Okay. So this is Sissy. And I don't remember how old she is, but she's old. And they keep thinking that she might not make it through the next winter, but then she keeps making it. So she's a very sweet girl. Yeah. I'm not real good with dog breeds, she, but she looks like she may be part red healer. I'm not sure. We used to have a red healer. He was a cool dog. He was a chicken killer, but he was a cool dog. Um, okay. So I will do... A tour of the 10 acres. How about that? Hmm. Maybe I'll finish the story first. I'm almost done. We'll just watch the birds while I finish. I'm so scatterbrained right now. Um, so we got moved. <laughs> you gonna do it again? <laughs> hmm. There it goes. <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, there's not really much more to the story. Uh, we did mostly get moved. We're just finishing up the last stuff for right now. And... 
the owners of this house. I'll probably talk a lot about this in the tour, but they left left a lot of stuff for us. Some of it's kind of junk, and other stuff is like awesome. <laughs> we got a tractor. A tractor came with the house. I think it's only about a year old, so that's that's nice. Um, I bought this kayak off of him, and then his brother saw the kids playing on that, and he's like, "I'm gonna leave that for him. I can't, I can't take that away from the kids when they're having so much fun." So, so the owner, previous owner's brother, left that for them. <laughs> so we inherited some animals, seven geese. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. That's seven. We got all those geese. Three ducks. Jesse, were there three or four ducks? What? I thought we had four ducks. We only had three. Just three? Okay. Boys, girls. Two boys and one girl. Yeah. Okay. I and couldn't I remember. Don't know the gingers of those. Of the geese? Yeah, I don't know. But those are the seven that were already here. The two that were really noisy a little bit ago, those were the two that we added. And they sometimes hang out, but they're not good friends yet, so we'll give it time. But they left us four turkeys, three ducks, seven geese, three peacocks, and one peahen. Hey, have you seen the peacocks? The peahen is the only... Is the only female, obviously, peahen. And uh, she's the only one that's white. That's what I was trying to say. And uh, so I've named her Lacey. Because I'm always like, oh, the white peacock or the white peahen. Whatever, you know, so. <laughs> yeah. So I named her Lacey. The boys don't have names. They all pretty much look the same. There it goes. The white peahen is named Lacey. <laughs> that didn't spit out very much. I wonder if it's empty. <laughs> also, lately, ever since she said that um, Lily might be in heat, <laughs> Lobo and Lily have been hanging out. Probably. Yeah, I know. She's teasing him right now. Probably yeah, going to have... She's actually letting... I know. Yeah, we won't talk about that right now. <laughs> yeah, we've got a Great Pyrenees. She's three quarter Great Pyrenees and one quarter Great uh, Anatolian Shepherd. And the male dog that they left here is not fixed. And his name is Lobo. He is half Airedale Terrier and half poodle so he's an aerodoodle and he's he's a lover man he just loves cuddles and he's a really sweet kid sweet kid <laughs> sweet boy he's over there right now Lobo. oh there's sissy yeah i got sissy um anyway all right i'm gonna do a property tour there's not really much left of the story if i skip all the long boring details we've got an awesome place here it's 10 acres and it doesn't touch our 43 acres, but it almost does. Um, so down, down the driveway there, down the road just a little bit is the creek. On the other side of the creek, up the dirt road just a little bit is the edge of our 43 acres. And it goes uphill. You can't see any hills through the trees there. But if you can imagine like the highest place you can see, that's probably the top of the hill. We own somewhere over there. <laughs> the zip line probably will not stay, but so far it has. Yeah, Robert said he'll take it. Yeah. And then sell it. Okay. So, yeah, there's, I mean, I'm just rambling at this point. So, we sold our other house, had to empty it and the rent house, and we're almost, almost completely done with that. Hopefully, by the time. This video is done and uploaded. We will be completely done and everybody will be here for the weekend so we can enjoy Shabbat together. 
and completely just rest from everything. So the owner used to get boats from his brother and he would bury them to raise up the ground level. You know, he's got a lot of great ideas as far as convenience and ease and frugalness. But he has a lot of trash buried around here. <laughs> so we will probably be undoing some of that. But we'll see. Um, so that's our story up to this point. My mom's doing well. She hasn't walked a whole lot, like taken steps a whole lot during this process. Um, <laughs> because, um, because we've just been so busy and stressed out from moving and everything and so tired. Everybody's so tired. I'm, mine's more of a mental exhaustion. Uh, and I feel like I have adrenal fatigue, but, um, for the most part, everybody's staying healthy. Jesse just coughed. She had a cold. Um, she had a cold, like, almost a month ago. And the cough, she had a lingering cough, as we all usually have a lingering cough for a week or two. And then, as I thought she was about, about to get over it last weekend, she got worse. So I think she picked up another cold. And then they had some sort of tummy bug. It lasted less than 24 hours. It was a quick thing. But just the, just the, just the three younger kids had it. I haven't gotten anything. My mom hasn't gotten anything. Older kids, you know, all the adults basically it was targeted to the kids, I guess. Um, anyway, you are so noisy. <laughs> all right, well, if y'all have lasted this long, thank you. Bless you. Because I'm just rambling. I, I'm, I'm sure it's been pretty boring, except for the birds. <laughs> I love watching birds. They're so funny. And pretty. <laughs> they crack me up. Those geese are so loud. Oh my goodness. We want to get swans too. Let me see if I can find the peacocks. Um... We would like to get some swans, but I don't know. They're kind of expensive, and we already have the peacocks. I don't know if we'll buy any more peacocks um, to add to these, but... You see our stuff sitting outside the house there? It's a smaller house. We have no more room in there. We do have a lot of outbuildings, so I guess we're just going to have to figure out where to put everything until we can go through it one box at a time. Hi, sissy. Hi, sweet girl. <laughs> um, I don't see the peacocks. They may be up in a tree. They go way up high in the trees. All right, well, I'll stop boring y'all. Thanks for watching. And I'll go ahead and get a tour of the place. So that'll probably be my next video.